Hey guys, this is Appsies here with the third member of Appsies, Lewis. Um, and this is the video on the Xbox Elite versus the Xbox Super Elite. So, um, Lewis will talk to you a bit about the Elite first. Um, the Xbox Elite, it's black, unlike the arcade and the premium. Uh, it has a silver disc tray, which is quite nice. As Josh is selling it, and the only problem with this is um, you have to buy the wireless router thing for it that fits into the back, as Josh will show you now. And that's quite uh, expensive just for a wireless internet router. Sixty pounds for the double uh, double prong thing, and forty-five for the white one. The one prong and um, the fi the fans work very well and the um, hard drive is 120 gig as you can see here so back over to Josh for the Super Elite ok then so the Super Elite as, a, as you can immediately see as a glossy finish with the um, with the huge fan on the side. Um, it has built in wireless so you don't have to pay extra for that but you will actually be paying extra in the long run as the Super Elite costs about uh, well now it costs about £50 more. Um, the buttons are touch like that yeah so that glows up green. Um, to get more about the specs um, it is it's got quite a lot of fans loads on the top loads on the bottom um and a huge fan on the top um it is not super silent compared to the elite i believe that the elite is a lot more silent now. and this xbox does get a lot more hotter um the hard drive is internal but that doesn't mean you can't get it out people like mistake that and think oh it's inside the Xbox can't get it out you can you get this part of the fan that goes down there you pull this back and you pull out the other drive which is here it is 250 gigabytes and um, to get the hard drive out you pull on the wire which uh, is actually quite elasticated so you can pull that out so now on to the controllers that you get with the xboxes so just the standard elite controller which Lewis will tell you about well uh, there's grey and black vinyl and it's um, stainless steel Xbox sign and these were actually grey but then some days I just like don't know I just marked them and on the back just all black and batch pack don't know whether it's same as the Super Elite but yeah that's it ok so on the Super Elite controller there's more glossiness on the bottom um, this here is not actually metal it's plastic but it is again glossy um, these buttons do not show sign of wear because they are black compared to the grey slightly purple buttons on the, on the normal Elite sorry and yeah the the buttons do wear away a lot more easier on the super elite and the b is like it's it breaks a lot easier and it comes off the edge uh the battery pack is still the same but mine has cheaper batteries in it polaroid and the they both have the 
little playing go memory slot but oh no this one's grey and yeah, that, one's that one's grey and this one's black they both have the synchronised button and this says yeah. Microsoft and that says Xbox three that says Xbox 360 that's Microsoft and um, yeah it's about it um, something we didn't mention this is external as it pops out of the top this is internal as it goes inside plugs in there and that plugs in there so yeah um, the specs are just about the same like as in graphics and processor and disk drive yeah they're all the same both are very easy to use both well the power packs the elite power pack is a bit bigger but and it gets a lot more hotter but the, that's the, really got nothing to do with the Xbox to be honest just it doesn't get doesn't bring performance down but the fans don't bring the performance down on the Super Elite either so yeah um, yeah that's just about it the one thing we might not have mentioned the Super Elite is much smaller than the normal Elite as you can see so yeah thank you for watching and goodbye